Now, the impacts of climate change are pushing numerous families in arid and semi-arid counties to the brink of food insecurity, poverty and malnutrition. In Laikipia County, 41 women-led groups have embraced climate-smart agriculture technologies to counter the effects of climate change and fortify community resilience. These women have turned to dairy goat farming, a lucrative venture that not only generates more income, but also provides milk retailing at 150 shillings per litre. Now, reporter Levis Musumba visited the rural village of Kalalu in Mutomo Ward, Laikipia County, and filed the following report on community resilience in combating climate change. I leave you with this story. My name is Fatheya Mohamed Noor. Have a lovely night. In the remote village of Kalalu, located in Laikipia County, the relentless impact of climate change have taken a toll over the past three years. High temperatures and unpredictable rainfall patterns have transformed once fertile lands into inhospitable environments for both humans and animals. <laughs> Martha Muraidi has adopted climate smart agricultural technologies to build resilience amid the effects of climate change, with a specific focus on dairy goat farming. Na mimi niliamua kuuliza hii busi ya maziwa, juu hapa karibu kuna kiwanda ya maziwa. Faced with the need to adapt to shifting climates and unproductive lands, Martha found vital support in the Women Economic Empowerment Project launched in 2021 by the Korea International Cooperation Agency, COICA, and implemented by UN Women, FAO, and the county government of Laikipia. The initiative stands as a beacon of hope not only for Martha, but also for 41 women-led groups that have embraced climate-smart agricultural technologies. And in Kenya, I should say, we are coming from a two consecutive years of drought, where, of course, the women were telling us, you know, their animals died, particularly, of course, cows and goats. And this project brought, of course, another component, which is poultry. And with poultry, you know, where you need very little water, you need very little space, they were able, of course, to have that income that it was really needed so that they can also send their children to school and also buy the alternative, the alternative food that they needed. So overall, I should say that really we see the impact, we see the transformation. To ensure sustainability, Laikipia County has provided training to extension officers with the aim of expanding the program. The women that have been involved in the program, there is already an extension officer that have been there. So in terms of passing on the technology that has been impacted, impact, impacted to our women, it is continuing. Empowered by the knowledge acquired from FAO, Martha's daily good farming has significantly shaped her life. Njuu tunajaribu ku alleviate poverty. Tunasema at least mkulima akikunywa maziwa lita mbili alafu auze mbili atakuwa ana at least 200 shillings per day. Martha's income from dairy goat farming allows her meet her family's needs comfortably, giving her sense of independence and empowerment. Kuna kiwanda ilifunguliwa hapa na palita tuseme si 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 wanatu wanatunululia na 150. Unpredictable weather patterns and climate change have brought new challenges. Water scarcity is affecting Martha's farming, posing a threat to her newfound success. The government of Laikipia is to chimburi a dam. Na wakati wali to chimburi a Nikaona pande yangu hiyo ya chini nikaona usuli ni ni nikate ni, ni kamtaro kwa masaa 2 tu kukinyesa ama tatu inajaa na ina overflow Today in a groundbreaking initiative Koika UN Women and FAO in collaboration with the Laikipia County Government have launched a response 80 water tanks 71 dam liners 117 beehives, 145 honey harvester suits, 8 water pumps, 
and eight shed nets have been provided to rural women, including Martha. This is a county to Mepanga, kwa CIDP, improving the livelihoods of our people, starting uh, from the household level. And therefore, in ile ya kushagia kuna matagi ya maji, uh, ile imeretwa siku ya leo, kuna mbuzi za maziwa zinakuja uh, kwa wananchi leo tumepatia na even dam liners, kwa sababu hii ni mambo ya kuhifadhi maji. Now the husbands see the real value of the activity of the ladies, not only the extra income and being able to send the girl children to the school. The impact is palpable, with Laikipia only realizing 364,671 US dollars, translating to about 59 million from the sale of agricultural products. There was a value chain that we are not paying attention to, a value chain commodity, and that was bee beehive. So today we have also flagged off quite a number of uh, beehive kits, harvesting kits, that are, will also support these women to diversify their incomes. Martha, along with thousands of women in the county, now has the opportunity to benefit from these climate adaptive technologies, addressing the challenges posed by climate change and food insecurity. Nikipata hiyo damraina, itakuwa sawa sana. Juu hiyo maji haitaisha. Hata saa hii ni mingi na tuko January. The countries, as you rightly said, they have to put in place strategies to be able to mitigate, to be able to, of course, uh, adapt to climate change. Climate change is with us. Levis Msumba, KTN News.